Hello, friends. Welcome to a new story at Viral Story. Today's story begins with Helene, a modest girl born in a modest family. Helene was a very good and modest young lady who was working hard and studying hard to earn a degree in business administration after being awarded a scholarship to attend college as a result of her excellent high school performance and achievement. Helene was completely absorbed in her studies and she made the decision that she would not engage in any romantic connections with any men. However, things may not always turn out the way we want them to. Daniel happened to meet her one day, a gorgeous young man who is wealthy and elegant and whose father is a prominent member of the city's social elite. All the girls wanted to have an affair with him because of his well-toned body and also because of his wealth. Daniel carried himself with a subtle arrogance, knowing full well what he was doing and all the girls wished to be with him. He was taken aback by the beauty of Helene in the cafeteria of the college when he first met her. He desired to be with her as soon as possible. He assumed that she was interested in other girls and that she would be delighted to welcome him. She was well aware of Daniel's predicament, though, and that he is an arrogant man who requires whatever he desires. So when Daniel approached her and began to speak with her, Helene was fully prepared to respond. She told him that she'll never be with a man like him and that she will never be with anyone like him again. Additionally, she informed him that she was not interested in his money and all she wanted was a good man with a good heart. Naturally, Daniel was enraged with Helene as a result of what she had done. He attempted every feasible method he could think of in order to capture Helene's interest. However, he was unsuccessful. Daniel saw that Helene was different from other girls and that she really only required a good man, despite his financial and economic predicament. Daniel began to believe that he was falling in love with Helene, and he began to exhibit indications of change, which Helene saw as well. She believed he deserved a second opportunity. They began to spend more time together on dates. Daniel had entirely transformed, and Helene was overjoyed with the results. Once they started dating, they realized how much they adored one another. Daniel's father was pleased with the outcome, and he expressed his support for both his son and his fiance. Daniel and Helene both graduated from college after two years of hard work and dedication. Daniel proposed to her, and she happily accepted his proposal. Daniel grew up to be a successful young man, and he set out on his path to becoming the mayor of his hometown. He was waging a campaign to convince people that he should be elected mayor of the city. During the campaign, he received two pieces of news, one of which was positive and the other which was negative. The good news was that his wife was expecting a child, which they were overjoyed to learn. Unfortunately, their euphoria did not last long as Daniel was dealt a devastating blow when he learned of his father's death. Daniel was heartbroken by the death of his father, whom he adored and cherished. Helene remained at his side at all times, but she noticed that Daniel was becoming increasingly weird and agitated. Apart from that, Daniel developed a mean streak and became even more arrogant than before. Helene began to be treated in an unfavorable manner by him. Helene, on the other hand, put up with his actions. Helene's due date had arrived and she was about to become a mother. Helene was expecting a twin and she assumed that when she gave birth, Daniel would change to accommodate her needs. As soon as Helene was delivered, the physicians informed her that she had given birth to mixed twins, which means that one of her infants was born with black skin and the other was born with white complexion. Helene was overjoyed, a little astonished, but overjoyed. Daniel, on the other hand, was taken aback when he saw his children for the first time. When he regains consciousness, he had ignored those babies and has accused Helene of being unfaithful to him. He also informed Helene that the babies in question were not his. Helene was taken aback by what she had just learned from her husband. He also told the press that he has no connection to the babies in question, fearing that this would jeopardize his mayoral campaign. When Helene was discharged from the hospital and attempted to return home, she was met by her husband at the front door, who prevented her from entering the house. He also informed her that he had performed a DNA test on the babies and that both of them were not his offspring. And he showed her the findings of the test. Of course, he lied to her in order to get a divorce without having to pay her a single cent. Helene struggled to raise a twin on her own without the assistance of others or a place to remain for the night. 
Melanie began working as a delivery girl in order to provide for herself and her two young children. She even worked while carrying the two children on her back. It was a difficult period for her. She couldn't find anyone who was willing to stand next to her. Helene was delivering a cake to a client for a baby shower when the incident occurred. When she arrived to the client's home and began to arrange the cake on the table, she was surprised to discover that the client's husband was Daniel, the new mayor, and her ex-husband. She immediately began to cry. She discovered that he had gotten married to another lady named Marina and that she was now expecting a child with him. Marina, on the other hand, was Daniel's secretary, much to Helene's amazement. But how did he manage to get her pregnant in such a short period of time when he had just been away from her for a month? After seeing Helene, Daniel told her, Marina is going to give me a normal son, not a monster like you gave me. She'll also not cheat on me in the same way that you have, beggar. Helene stared Marina in the eyes and told her that he will do the same to her one day. Marina was taken aback. Daniel, on the other hand, booted her out and just gave her a one-cent tip. When Helene returned to her house at the end of the day, she couldn't stop sobbing because of what had transpired earlier that morning with Daniel. But when she remembered something, how he had gotten his secretary pregnant in such a short period of time if he had only left her a month before. As a result, he was already cheating on Helene when he was in the company of her. As a result, Helene made the decision to exact revenge on Daniel and began taking action. But who knows what she's going to do? Let's have a look and see. Helene claimed on social media that the incoming mayor is a cheat and that he had had an affair with his secretary while she was mayor. The news was shared on her Facebook page with the caption, The mayor has been exposed as a liar. Daniel, on the other hand, kept Marina hidden from the public and staged a film about Helene in which he said she had cheated on him with a black man, which resulted in her giving birth to a black baby who was not his. He also uploaded the bogus footage to the internet. Of course, the citizens of the city trusted their mayor, and they all despised Helene for her actions. This has a negative impact on Helene's well-being. She had to relocate to a shelter with her twin and save money so that she could provide for her children. But life wouldn't let her forget about Helene for much longer, and then something unexpected occurred. Helene was startled when she noticed Marina walking into the shelter with a black infant. Daniel relinquished control of him as soon as she had possession of him. Moreover, he accused her of being a cheat as well as neglecting the child. Helene's twin, Marina's baby, was born in the same condition and with the same appearance as Helene. This was not a coincidental occurrence. Marina made the decision to speak up with Helene and to devise a strategy to bring the liar, Daniel, to justice. Marina instructed Helene to travel to a nursing home on the outskirts of the city to recuperate. Daniel was concealing someone inside the building. Marina had been paying the bills on a regular basis and was familiar with the address. That's where they discovered Daniel's African-American great-grandfather. They leaked information to the press and filed a lawsuit against Daniel. They were doing an interview with Daniel, the mayor, during a live broadcast. During this time, Helene, Marina, Daniel's great-grandfather, and the three children walked into the studio and stood in front of him. Marina told everyone who would listen about her affairs with Daniel while they were all watching the television. Daniel was compelled to submit to a second DNA test by the court, and it came back positive for all three of the children. Daniel was fired from his mayor's post and was compelled by the court to pay the child support he had owed. He had ruined his career and was forced to work three jobs as a result. Marina and Helene snatched all of his money as well as his house. One of the positions Daniel has had to work is as a waiter in a restaurant, and every week, Helene goes there and leaves him a one-cent tip, exactly like he did with her previously. Did you also find that the one who accuses of cheating is a cheater? Tell us in the comments section. If you like this story, give us a like and leave us your valuable comment. We invite you to subscribe to our channel. You click on the notification bell so that YouTube always notifies you when we have new videos. And remember, you have an appointment with us in our next video. See you soon.